We are hearing from worried parents about a new directive ordering that all students take the state assessment test in person. So many students haven't been back in the classroom in months. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live with more. Hatzel. So, Nicole, this is something that's affecting parents across South Florida and the state, and it looks like state officials are sticking to the plan of holding these tests early next month. Oh, I have two children. One like Amanda Prieto, parents across South Florida seem to be dealing with the same problem, wondering what will finally happen to state mandated testing like the FSA. So far, the state says kids will have to take the test. It's just not clear to parents what the options are. In a letter from Miami-Dade schools, she was told all students physically attending school or participating in my school online will be expected to take these assessments in person at their schools. Because of the pandemic, Prieto chose to keep her kids learning from home. I was able to keep them online, which is great. But now the requirement is that I send them to school and I'm just not comfortable with that right now. And it's not just a health issue. It's also about accountability. It really doesn't seem fair. And tests are really there to help us understand how much learning has taken place and help teachers understand where their students still need more support. It should not be a punitive high stakes scenario. Miami-Dade School Board member Luisa Santos says some schools are having a hard time getting kids back in the physical classroom to take the test. Santos says parents should have a choice. As we know, this has not been a typical school year. At Former Broward School Board member and now State Representative Robin Bartleman is pushing a bill in Tallahassee that calls for test results not to be used to punish school districts across the state. We're not saying don't give the test. We're saying, you know, have the students take the test collect the data and use it to plan for remediation, but don't use it punitively. It's not fair to children, it's not fair to teachers, it's not fair to schools, and it's not fair to families. So of the two bills in Tallahassee, the one in the Senate has now made it out of committee. We'll keep you posted on what happens to those. Meanwhile, back here locally, Broward County, Miami-Dade, both districts getting ready to put out new information for parents. In fact, Broward County is uh, holding a seminar on March 31st. Information on that and more you can find on local10.com. For now, reporting live from Pembroke Park, I'm Hatsovella.